what are your best performing lists to text an outbound call? And just so everybody knows what we're talking about, there's all kinds of lists you can get. You can get absentee owners, you can get high equity, you can get low equity, you can get pre foreclosure, you can get um, zombie listings and the list goes on and on and on and on and on. Um, what's your favorite uh, best performing type of list? Yeah. So I actually, um, I do this, um, this, uh, this thing, uh, where I actually put myself in the shoes situationally and through like life's like, um, all the little different little milestones in life. And one of the best things that we ever discovered was taking what people, when do they normally buy houses? When do they normally sell houses throughout their life? And so typically that's when they get married. How long do people normally stay married on average seven years? And then they have to sell a house. Uh, and if they stay together and they have kids, when do they typically sell a house? Like 20 years when the kids graduate and the house is too big. And so we use that as markers of like, okay, and we work our way backwards and we basically say, um, you know, at what time would somebody be in this specific situation? And so our favorite list right now that we're seeing the most, uh, the most leads come back are our absentee owners. Uh, so people who have bought a house that no longer live in that house that they bought between 2008 and 2012, because that was the lowest point in the market, as you know, Jay, right? So in 2008 and 2012, if they bought a house during that time, here, there's a couple of things that we know about this. One, great time to buy a house. Two, they have owned the house for long enough where um, on average, tenants last about three years in a property and then it turns over. And so if they've owned it since then, there's a chance that they've gone through at least three cycles of renters. And at this point, they may be like so fed up with turning properties over on top of what's currently going on with COVID and, and eviction moratorium. Um, and also on top of that, the appreciation that's happening in the market. So the combination of all three of those, they bought low, they can sell high, and there's a potential that they're having non-performing tenants. Uh, you know, those are the ones that we're having the best uh, luck with right now.